What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new tips and guide video. Today we're going to be going over how to install shaders with iris and sodium on Minecraft 1.21. Let's get into it. Start off by heading to the first link in the description. This is going to take you to the irisshader.dev website and we are just going to go ahead and click the download universal jar button. You can save this to wherever you want and we're just going to wait for it to download in our browser. So we're just going to go ahead and open it directly from our browser. It's going to open up the Iris installer application and you're going to make sure you're on 1.21 here. You're going to click Iris and fabric. It's going to make sure it's going to go to your dot Minecraft and you're just going to click install. That is all. So if you get this little pop up saying that uh, the mods folder has already been detected, you could just go ahead and click yes. It's basically just going to update it and install Iris. So once this is done, you can exit out of the Iris installer and we won't need that anymore. We're now going to head on over to the second link in the description. This is going to take you to the Modrinth website. And from here, I already have the complimentary shaders page for you guys down there. Uh, we're going to use this one for the tutorial, but if you want, you can go into shaders and you guys can choose any shader that you desire. We're going to scroll down a little bit from the top here and look at featured versions. We're going to see that it's showing for 1.21. We're going to click the big green download and you can also download this to wherever. We're going to throw it on our desktop when it's done downloading. Once everything's been installed, we're going to open up our Minecraft launcher and we're going to head up top here into installations. From installation, we're going to click new installation. We are going to click the drop down menu and we are going to look for our fabric or iris. When looking for your download, it's usually going to be located closer to the top just because it's a 1.21 release and the 1.21 show up at the top. So here we have our fabric loader. Yours might say iris um, or fabric. Um, it, it completely depends on if you already had fabric installed or not. Um, so once it's checked in version, we're gonna go ahead and click create. And from there, we are gonna go make sure that our installation is showing up and we're gonna click play. Once Minecraft has opened up for you, you can confirm down here that it says Minecraft 1.21 fabric. We're gonna go ahead to the options. We are gonna click video settings. We are gonna hit shaders packs up here at the top. And uh, you're gonna make sure that shaders are enabled. And what you can do is go right ahead and drag that pack directly into your Minecraft. So all I did was grab the pack from my desktop and I dragged it and dropped it into Minecraft. If that doesn't work, you could also go to open shader pack folder, which will then open up this guy for you. And this is where you would just go ahead and drag this folder directly into there. Now we confirm that our shader pack is installed, complimentary reimagined 5.2.2. You make sure that shaders are enabled and not disabled. You'll click your shader pack, you'll click apply, and you'll click done. From there, we're gonna open up our world and what we'll do is we'll just show that we have the shader pack now installed on Minecraft 1.21. So guys, we are now loaded onto our world and you can see that it looks amazing. We now got shader packs on Minecraft 1.21 and uh, I'm super excited. I love playing with this uh, complimentary shader pack. I think it really spices up the world and just makes it that much nicer and just more enjoyable um so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope it was able to help you uh, i tried to get through it super quick just so that there was no bs and uh you know you guys just were able to get shaders installed and we were right to the point so um i hope you guys have a great day i hope you enjoy shader packs in your new minecraft 1.21 world and uh, i'll catch you guys in the next tips and guide video peace